Uh, working with music videos, uh, you know, there's always a criticism of, about you guys objectifying women. Objectifying is, women? Listen, this <laughs> is, is, this first, heard is it the first time you've heard this? Ever? I've heard that. I know, Never it's a shocker. That. What do you think about that, though? What's up? Is that that's your then that's your thoughts on it? Uh, you know, I, I I think that um you know they came at me one time when I did this video for Chingy right there. Right? Oh, and they were like, "Yo, and this that," and I was at the University of Chicago having a conversation, and it You're was speaking like, to woke college students. What's up? Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was like, you know, 100 Erica Badus and, and Jill Scotts. Like, they were not giving me a break, you know? Right. So I'm like, damn, at that point, I, I was working with the Roots Music Soul Child, Jill Scott, Angie Stone. And you can argue about this one video that I did right. for Chingy, which that's what he wanted. And I, was like, vision. and I was like, I didn't teach those girls how to do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, exactly. like, that wasn't for me. Like, this is how you, right there. I but, mean, it's but, just, it's, it just happens a lot in videos. And you say that, you know, girls do it on Instagram, but it's definitely different if you're doing it on your own page than if it's like, you know. No, nah, no, nah, you know what? But you, you can't say that because like, what I'm saying is like, when you were dealing with hip hop at a certain era and, and you were coming up, girls had the choice sometimes they wore their own outfits, mm. right? So some of these girls, that's how they wanted to be seen. That's what they thought was fly. And that, this is a conversation I always have with people. I was like, you know, when you look at rock videos, right? And you look at rock videos in the beginning. When we were growing up, they weren't hip-hop videos. So you were watching rock videos. And these rock videos had a tons of girls in bikinis, mm -hmm. right? So you have these young black kids growing up in the ghetto looking at that going, you know what? That is what success is about, mm -hmm. right? So when you watch like rock kids, some rock kids that are grow up with money, and you watch their videos, they're in the garage. They're like doing everything to run away from what they came from. You know what I'm saying? And you see a young uh, African-American kid, a black kid in the hood. He's putting all his money on his neck and everything. Because he's like, you know what? He don't got shit. So he's trying mm -hmm. to show you everything he got. And in his mind, that was success, was having all these women, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think the biggest argument was never about the women. Because if you see a girl in the Vogue magazine, if you see a girl in the Victoria's Secret ad wearing the same thing, for some reason in your mind, you're going, that's classy. Mm -hmm. But that girl... From the ghetto that nobody taught how to walk down the runway, she thinks she looks just like the girl in the Victoria's Secret right. campaign. It's just she don't got, you know what I mean? She doesn't have the the rehearsals or the time, and you know. So it's like we were trying to do that to what the artist like. You're trying right? to show the beauty. Yeah, because if you saw in that era, if you did a video for Usher, let's say, mm -hmm. and Usher made choices to pick like models that came from an agency, that was his preference and girl. Mm. Right, and then if you did a video for let's say um, Little John and the Yin Yang Twins, they didn't want those skinny girls. Right, right. So you know, so right. it's, it's it's hard. It's a tough. I mean, I can get what you're saying with that, whatever, because it is a society society thing that has put into your heads that this is beautiful when it's slimmer, and this is not because she's thicker or whatever. But you know, just standing there walking down a runway is definitely different than like you know. No, no um, I know, but what I'm trying to say is that when you do a video and the girls are like popping their butts. We're not telling them to do that. They're just, just oh, okay. They decide to do that on their own. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So so, so what I'm saying, I, I'm not saying it's right or wrong and I'm a father of two daughters, right? Mm -hmm. You know, but, 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 you know, the world shifted a little bit too. So mm -hmm. back, back in the days, they felt like when you see like tip drill or some crazy video, they feel like, okay, these girls' butts are so big. This is like crazy. It's like, I can't look at it. And then if you look at what's happening now in social media and culture, these girls are getting these butt implants. You know about the this is true. Um, hot and tot story? Mm -mm. Where there's a woman, I believe she was from South Africa, but she was taken to Europe and paraded around because she had this big ass, this African ass. And they looked at it like it was like, like she was a circus freak. But like that to me is the first version of that. Mm -hmm. um, do you feel like as a director, what, what, what responsibility do you feel like as an artist and as a director and as a director who's working on behalf of somebody to inject your own morals into a video? Or do you feel any responsibility to do that? You know what? I think uh, the older you get, you know, your mind shifts. You know, right. and, and I was having this conversation with some young directors and I was saying, hey, um, I'm trying to build some projects and there's opportunities in the world. And I'm like, you're 25 years old. You're working with these kids. Like, you should be the one that does the movie that's the menace to society, that shows mm -hmm. this culture. Right, because right, right. I'm going to overthink it at this age. Mm -hmm. You know, and you're going to give it unapologetic. Like, you're going to do something that feels so right to you because you feel like that's how you're living. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see it from a, as like a father now from the or, or, or with this heavy responsibility that I got to make a change. Different eyes. Because what, we what I was trying to do is like, before I did the video with Chingy, I'd never been to St. Louis. 
So I said, you know what? I want to go to the clubs. I want right. to see what St. Louis is about. And I was trying to document a feeling that was right. that was going to resonate to people there, that was going to feel authentic. Mm. So when you watch the video, I was trying to capture what was happening because that's what, that's what it felt like to me, you know? Mm. And hip hop was about authenticity. You know what I'm trying to say? At that time. Right. Now it's about many different things. But at that time, it was about being authentic to where you came from. Original too. Yeah. An original. If you yeah. wasn't popping in your neighborhood yeah. in St. Louis, nobody cared. Like, you right. know, if I'm like, yo, That's this rapper's true. from St. Louis. It's like, is he popping in St. Louis? Because if he ain't popping in his hometown, I don't care. Right. So it was different, and that's what that's what we thought we were doing. You know, it was like we were we were doing that, and the artist kind of dictated sometimes the journey. Mm -hmm. You know, every artist wasn't ready to to be outcast or be right. different talent that said, you know what, let's push the envelope. Missy right. was like, let's do something yeah. different, right? Everybody wasn't giving you that kind of brief. Get it, call me young, go get it.